This video is going to show you how to uh, convert a bunch of BMP files into JPEGs. JPEGs save you a whole lot of space on the hard drive over uh, BMPs, and I'll show you all that. Now, granted, yeah, you can right click and open with Paint and then save as a JPEG. If you have hundreds of pictures, do you really want to do that to 100 of pictures? Come on. That could be a very tiresome, so I'm going to show you how to do it very easy. Uh, do a search in Google, all right, batch convert BMP to JPEG. You come up to this first one right here. I find this to be the better one. Uh, you're going to click on that page, all right, and it, get, it gives you a 4.5 star um, thing. There's a little uh, video here on how to use it, all right, uh, but I, I, I went through that and it wasn't that easy. Uh, I'm going to show you the easy way, though. You click on download. And uh, it comes over and thanks you for the download. And it, was, it starts downloading. Uh, this is Google, so it'll come down here. If you have Firefox, it'll be up there. If you have Internet Explorer, it'll be a thing. Do you want to save this? And it's called uh, Bulk Image Converter. All right, I'm going to close uh, close the browser now and show you how to use that. Now, first, I want to show you about uh, the four the four pictures I took with my digital microscope of my uh, new 1999 double stamp coin I just put on YouTube. Uh, I'm cataloging this now. So I took pictures with my digital micro microscope and uh, check this out. I highlighted those three, four, right click, properties, and this is the size. Look at this 15 uh, megabytes. Okay, that's bytes, that's K, and that's meg. So 15 megabytes of uh, space that's uh, used on uh, my hard drive right now. And yeah, granted, I have a big hard drive, a terabyte hard drive, but do I want to fill it up with all these pictures? That's that huge. Okay, so I'm going to show you just how to, how to do this. Go to your downloads. All right, hopefully you don't have too much stuff in here. It should be clean all the time. Uh, this is what we just downloaded. Now, this is not an install file. It's the actual application. So if you want to put this on your desktop, go ahead or put it someplace, but it's in, in your downloads. So I'm going to double-click this. It's going to come up. And say, hey, type in the path. Select the directory in which contains the images. So uh, let's do a browse. I'm going to go to my um, libraries. Uh, my digital microscope is under my documents. Um, it comes up with uh, my documents again. All right. And then uh, my, uh, let's see, my digital microscope's right there. And my pictures are right here. All right. That's the folder I'm going to end up putting them in. So, um, we select it. Okay, include subdirectories? No. Uh, delete original files? I'm going to say yes. Now you convert uh, what type going from BMP to JPEG. Okay, and start. You get a warning. It comes up. Make sure you read it. I, I have no problems with this, so I'm going to just say yes. And it starts doing good. And it says done. All right, close this. All right, the program's still there. We're going to go back to here. Now let's highlight all these. I want to select all, then deselect these two. This is Windows 8, and this is indicative of Windows 8 with the select all. Um, we're going to go to properties and check this out. It's down to basically 1 meg. All right, 996K, which is 1 meg. That is one tenth the size of the original files. You can save a lot more pictures and not use that much hard drive space. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit cancel. I'm taking these and dropping them to my 1990 DDR. Thanks for watching the video and be sure to click subscribe to subscribe to see more videos like this. You have five seconds to do that. So enjoy the rest of the video and hey, now it's over. So hope to see you back. Be kind to those you meet and have a nice day. Bye for now.